This is down to the wire, 513. Everybody else can shut up. It is time. Ooh, fly me and rain. Back in the building, man. Yo, we in the building, we back. Make sure y'all follow us on everything down to the wire, 513. Yo, yo, down to the wire, 513, NBA Conference Finals Previews. Good brother, how you feeling? Hey, man, feeling great. Happy happy to be here with the Lakers, man. Happy we're here. So, hey, hey man, it's exciting time. I'm going to be the first. Hey, I would like to apologize. I did not think we was going to be here. Hey, we both we both didn't think we was going to be here. And this one we got the first round. I ain't going to lie to y'all. Facts. Did not think we was going to get the first round, man. But we, hey, we here. Started from the bottom. Now we here, man. That's for real. Started 2-10. and 10. Made it all the way to the Western Conference Finals. I don't think anybody had us paid to go here at the beginning of the season, man. So shout out to the Lakers, man. Shout out to LeBron, AD, Darvaham, the whole squad, man. Even the new yes, ones. Sir, yes. know, so especially the new, I should say, especially the new people. Yes, sir, man. Before we get started, yeah, y'all know, man. Make sure y'all tap in with us. Everything down to wire 513. Google us. It's the best way to find us, man. We everywhere. We everywhere. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, man, what's the conference finals? Tips off tonight, 830. On uh, ESPN, hey, shout out to the NBA for scheduling this. All the games are at eight thirty PM. Thank you, NBA. Thank you, ESPN, TNT, for doing this. Solid for the East Coast viewers like ourselves on East Eastern Standard Time, or not East Coast, really Eastern Standard Time viewers. Uh, man, this is love. We gotta watch the game in its entirety and the post game, you know, content as well. <laughs> so yes. this, this is dope. This is dope. And still go to bed at a decent time. Yeah. So, thank you. <laughs> But no, what's the uh, what's the, what's the, what's the keys? For, I mean, obviously, we Lakers fans, so I, obviously, I think our picks is probably going to be a, a tad bit biased. But uh, yeah, ain't gonna what's, lie. The key, what's the keys for our <laughs> Lakers to to get back to the NBA Finals? Man, the key is going to be defense. Man, we got here our strength for our defense. We got to keep that up. We have the best defense in these playoffs, um, and also our points in the paint. Um, Denver has the weakest uh, paint defense, the weakest inside defense left in the playoffs. So we have to really just exploit that. Um, we have to. I think we scored the most at the rim, and they had they allowed the most points at the rim. So we have to really exploit that. Um, you know, on both ends, you know, make them work, and really just um, hope that hope that we find a good body to, to kind of match up with, with Jokic. Because I don't really want to see AD guard him most of the time, man. It's going to tire him out for offense. We need him on offense as well. So it's going to be um, interesting to see the, the chess games being played between coaches here. Yeah, man, that's going to be the thing, man. I know I've seen a few Lakers fans on Twitter talking about how Mo Bamba is probably going to get some more clock. But it's like, uh, I don't know if you want to try to run that this late in the season with a trip to the NBA Finals on the line. So I don't I don't know yeah. if you can actually see Mo Bamba. He's not even available tonight. I think, I think he's out for game one with the ankle injury still. So, yeah. So, so, yeah like, man. Maybe Tristan Thompson. That's what I've been hearing, too. I see some clips of Tristan Thompson guarding Jokic, and he did a pretty good job with the clips I saw. So I'm not sure if he uh, – uh, <laughs> Darvin Ham got up his sleeve or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh, no, but I'm with you. I mean, I, we've been saying it all playoffs, man. AD is, is, is the key to our success. He gets to the NBA Finals. It's going to be another – it's going to be AD game all series. I mean, that's saying obvious. Bro, I ain't, I, I ain't going to lie, bro. I'm nervous about this series. And the reason I'm yeah. nervous is because – we're over overall our team is very young as far as experience deep in the playoffs. Uh you go back to the 2020 series when last time we played the Nuggets in the playoffs, man. We had hella deep runs, playoff experience, players, guys that played on NBA finals teams, yeah. championship teams. This year, man, we only got four guys that's been to the NBA finals and and won. So for me, the key is just gonna be the others to to, to continue to be what they've been, the D'Angelo Russells, the uh, Austin Reeves, the Hui, uh, Hui, uh, Rui. Yeah. Like they, them going to continue to be the guys to continue to provide and, and give good and give good minutes, not just at home. It has to be on the road. We have to win. Because if you look back in just uh, this playoffs alone, you know, all the guys you name has had very key moments in this in, these, in this playoff run. You know, have, have almost single-handedly won us a game at one point. All those guys you just named, Reeves, uh, single handed won, won us a game. Uh, Rui, what well, kind of Rui and, and Reeves in the same game? Uh, that game in Memphis. Uh, and D'Lo had a huge third quarter that one game to kind of kind of boost us up too. So, um, we really gonna need them to come up and, and really play big because, um, and also Dennis Schroeder, man, shout out Dennis Schroeder. His defense is gonna be big on Jamal Murray. 
He played great defense on Stephen Curry. If you look at the stats, Steph had the lowest shot percentage, you know, while Dennis was guarding him. So uh, it's going to be key to get Dennis out there as well. And our guard play is going to be key, man. Um, you know, Denver has some decent guards, man. You know, I know they're not they're not highlighted as much as Steph Curry and, and um, Clay Thompson, Jordan Poole, and those guys. But Jamal Murray, KCP, I know him for being a Laker, man. He he he, he knocked down shots. You know, mm-hmm. and uh, Michael Porter Jr. is he's a bigger guard. He's more of a three four, but he can shoot too. So um, we have to really, um, you know, win that battle in the guards. Yeah, man. Uh, the experience factor, man. I, I I was just about to tweet it earlier. Uh, then you then you hit then you hit the group chat, but it's just like man, experience like this Denver team. Like I said, they're so like they, they added so much since that twenty twenty team. On top of they still got the Jokic, Jamal Murray, Michael Porter Jr. Like you said, who played in the bubble uh, a few years ago, man. So. Uh, I think that yeah. experience. I think that experience factor is going to play a huge factor. But obviously, as, as we stated before, we gave our analysis. Man, We're biased Lakers fans. I still got Lakers. I still got Lakers in six, man. Because I like, like, mm. you, like you said, man, Jokic's defense, bro, is is, is terrible. It is. If we, it if is, we, man. If we get him in the like you said, you've been saying it all season long. Get him pick and roll situations, man. That's what we got to do. We got to exploit. That. I haven't seen really any team try to try to really exploit that yet. Um, you know. Uh, Phoenix tried to to a certain extent, but it really just didn't work out for him. Uh, book book did cook, but you know KD really wasn't as efficient as he needed to be. Uh, they ain't had the depth. We got way more depth than the Suns have. Um, the one thing I will say, Denver does have depth, man. Um, yeah, they they did um, take Thomas Roberts. We did trade him to 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 Denver. This is one series I think he would have been able to play for us. I don't think he's gonna get off the bench for Denver, um, but I think he would actually play for us in this series because um, he was playing behind AD. We need another big behind, even alongside AD, to give um, Jokic different looks on defense. So um, I'm, I'm about to agree with you, though. Looking at the series overall, I'm about to go Lakers in six, man. Definitely a biased opinion. But um, I think if we win the two-man battle, I'm, 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 I'm taking LeBron and AD over, over Jokic and Jamal Murray. Um, sure. Until they prove me otherwise, which I just, they definitely can do that. Jokic has won two MVP since then. And this would be the year that he he if he does that, I'll be like, hey, he's he's taking the throne as the best player in the world. He's definitely making his case for that. Uh right now, that 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 title up for grabs to in my opinion. I think Giannis has lost the title. So we're gonna, Jokic, talk about okay, yeah, we're gonna talk about that tomorrow. We're gonna talk about that tomorrow for sure. But if Jokic wins this series, he he is right there at the seat, about to sit down as the best player in the world. So he could definitely do it, but I'm picking Lakers in six. Yeah, man. Um, I'm just gonna say this whichever bench wins the point battle that's going to that they'll win the, they'll win the game mm-hmm. i don't think i don't think it'll be starter i don't think it'll be like a like your starters can win the game you're going to have to get productive production from bench both on, it's on both teams. on both sides on both sides for sure man so yeah we, we need the ruiz you know dennis schroeder the vandos whoever we're going to have whoever you know darby handles have to start uh we're going to need the others to come in and really be ready to play and game one is going to be an ultra important game for us. We won the game one in the last two series, which gave us a leg up on the home team you know, that has the advantage already. Um, I think tonight we have to go into tonight. We had three days of rest, which is going to be the most rest we have in this series. Um, LeBron has to take charge tonight and look at tonight as a must win game. He has to set that set that um, set that mode early, attacking the paint like he did in game six against Golden State. He needs to come out with that mindset, set the tone early. This is a must win game for the Lakers if in my opinion they have to win this game for sure for sure no it no if hands or bust but especially with the Alan Jamal Murray we're still not sure of his status I, I think he's gonna play um it's just how how effective he'll be we'll see but I don't I don't see Jamal Murray missing game one tonight yeah he's not missing the game tonight if he yeah I don't think he I, he's a gamer he lives for moments like this he he he's gonna be out here lacing him up for sure I, I think he's gonna play um but we need LeBron t- attacking the paint we need AD to it's definitely, um, you know, be aggressive on offense, but we need him locked in defensively for sure. Um, setting the tone defensively, we need LeBron just hey, attack, bro. Head down, attack. They have nobody that can guard you. Aaron Gordon uh, is is big enough, but he's too slow. Attack. See, that's see, that's the thing too, man. Like like you said, how you don't want to see AD on Jokic. That's why, like Denver, like I said, even though they're smaller, but they have different bodies to throw at AD. Like Jokic isn't, isn't going to have to be the one defending them. Yeah, they yeah. Porter. They can throw Michael Porter Jr. Whoever, like I said, they got so many different bodies they can throw at AD. So man, that's going to be that's true. That's why that's I, I need we need LeBron to lead lead the lead the charge offensively um, because you know we definitely we need to run some sets for AD, Darvin Ham. 
Um, yeah. but we need LeBron to hey, when you see we we need him to do the same thing he was doing in um uh the last game against Golden State. He was he was screwed, he was uh hunting, hunting out Steph, hunting out whoever's on the court, Jordan Poole, hunting out, get, get, getting who he wants on him, getting him on that hip and attacking the rim. Do that same thing. You anybody you want on you, if they could put Aaron Gordon on you, run a pick and rolls to get Jamal Murray or somebody smaller or, or KCP on you or Jokic on you and attack. And last thing I'm gonna say is it, Obviously, we also we know like this is the same uh, conference finals matchups all across the board uh, since the bubble, uh, like the bubble was in 2020. Big difference here, and I'm sure, like I said, they got they got there soon to get to get adjusted. That that altitude up in Denver, man. So it's different, different beast, man. Different that's beast. Gonna be, that's that, that's that plays that's going to play a factor in 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 this series. I think for the Lakers, more so for the Lakers guys because we're older. So yeah, that's why I think it was imperative for us to win that game six, not go seven. You got to get out there a couple of days early to get uh, acclimated to that to that uh, higher altitude. So hopefully it helps us out. Um, like I said, it's going to be the most rest we have in this series coming off three days rest. I think uh, from now on it's going to be every other day. So you got to take advantage of that and get. I think that's why I said tonight. So I think it's a must win. Right there with you, brother. Right there with you, brother. Lakers Nuggets eight thirty tonight. ESPN. Hey man, it's going to be a fun series. Like I said, I got Lakers of six. Ran got Lakers of six. Biased opinions, but hey, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll get Doc's take tomorrow. You know, we're gonna get his before the game one take and see what he said before the game and then see if he changes his mind after the results tonight. We'll see. For sure, for sure. Down to wire five one three NBA conference finals previews. Make sure y'all tap in with us everything down to the wire five one three. Google's the best way to find us. As we said, as I just said, man, uh this is saying this is basically the rematch from the bubble in twenty twenty. Uh we got Nuggets Lakers on the other side, we got Heat Celtics. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's going to be a, a fun matchup as well. I uh, wish the Heat were um, more, you know, more healthy, you know, like Tyler Hero and um, who else is that for them? Uh, Victor Oladipo. I wish they were, had, you know, at full strength, but I think they still have enough to get it to, to get it done, honestly. Um, will they do it? I don't know, but they have enough um, with Timmy Butler and their coaching staff and their, their, their resilience. They have enough to win this series. Um, Boston is definitely the better team, but if I had to pick a, a player in this series, and you know how much I love Tatum, that's my guy. <laughs> Not like that because he he is Celtic, but that's still my guy. But if I had to pick a player in this series, you know how much I don't like this guy. I'll pick Jimmy Butler. <clears throat> I'll pick Jimmy. He he he's not going to give you the. The two off nights where he's going to have, you know, a two for nineteen performance, like like Tatum, he he can't give you those. Um, not saying he will either, but he can't. He's capable. We've seen him do it before. So, um, man, it's going to be a fun series too. It's going to be a fun series too. It's going to come down to, man, I want to say coaching, but uh, if you ask me better coaches, I'm definitely taking Spo. Yeah, for sure. Um, man. <laughs> I don't know who to pick on this one, bro. Make a pick. Make a pick. <laughs> I don't know who to pick on this one. This is this is gonna be a tough one for me, man. Um, Lakers fan, who you picking? I know you are gonna hate it. I, I know which way you go. I think I know which way you gonna. Uh, hate it. I, I don't know. want to, but I know. Give me Boston and six, man. Mm. Man, uh, look, I'm, I'm with you, man. Uh, if Miami was uh, healthier, mainly Tyler Hero. If Tyler Hero was yeah. able to go. I would, I, I would love Miami's chances to uh, their chance to get there, increase their chances anyway. Uh, only way for me that I can see Miami win is going to have to be the, the the second guy right behind Jimmy Butler. Bam's going to have to show up every single game. Now, I remember in bubble he had that uh, key defensive play. I forget what game it was, but that that key block where he that blocked block like, on Tatum. Yeah, that was crazy. That was crazy. Uh, but. Bam is going to have to be, it's going to be that guy in this series. Because honestly, I defensively, I mean, other day, I mean, Boston's going to throw different guys at him, but there shouldn't be no one who can guard, shouldn't be one of them who can guard Bam one on one. Uh, those just no discredit, disrespect to Robert Williams or Al Horford, whoever you want, but I think Bam is that skilled offensively. He could have a mismatch. Uh, for me, and Jimmy Butler, man, in this New York series, he didn't really have, well, a game one, I would say. But outside of game one against New York, he didn't have that uh, signature game like he did in the in the first round against uh, yeah. against Milwaukee. But technically, he didn't need to because you had guys like Gabe Vincent. 
Yep, Gabe. Guys, uh, stepping up. Stepped up for sure, man. But in this series for the Heat to win, it's going to be the Heat's duo, Bam and Jimmy. When they continue to get in timely three knockdown threes from all the others, from everybody else out there. So uh as, as much as biggest fam, I am a Jimmy Butler. Um, big huge Jimmy Butler supporter on this. So I have to go Boston. Like just like you said, they're the, they're a better better team. They've been inconsistent all all playoffs, but man, at the end of the day, the better team's gonna win. Hell, because we we've seen that, and we'll talk about this more tomorrow. We've seen that game seven in the last series. So um, we'll talk about that tomorrow, but I think uh better team is ultimately gonna come out. So yeah, I'm rolling Lakers and I'm rolling uh not Lakers, Celtics and six, man. All right, so you heard it here first, man. Both me and T have Lakers and Celtics, me and NBA Finals. That's that'd, that'd be dope. That'd be really dope and crazy. That would be and, and that would be a huge and we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it more tomorrow, but that's gonna be a huge if we do get Lakers Celtics, this is going to define Bron Bron's Laker career. Man, hey, I ain't gonna lie. If it's Lakers Celtics and LeBron gets gets that another gets us on hey, the he's ring, he's uh, it, it, retire it's, retire both twenty three and six. And hey, if you want to get it, man, get a man statue, man. I don't even care no more. And if, he does, if he does that, get him a statue. I don't, I don't care no more. And this is diehard Lakers fans speaking, diehard Kobe guy speaking here. Uh, if he does that, if this happens, and honestly, if, brother, if, hey, even if we win this year, I don't care if it's, if it's against Celtics or not. If we win this year, he getting probably both jerseys retired. Get, getting both jerseys retired. If it's against the and, Celtics, he's, he's and, 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 for, and for me, Braun fans, I'm not. I'm no longer debating you know, his, his ghost status like no more. Like if you want to call him to go, I'm not saying shit. <laughs> I, I'm not. Yeah, I would have to agree. If they if the Lakers pull this off, man, which I'm is very down. possible. I'm if Lakers pull this off, man. If Lakers pull this shit off, man, you heard it. I, I will never. Hit LeBron James ever again in my life. <laughs> yeah, no, especially if we beat Boston. Never again in my life. He already got his one ring, so I already stopped paying on him for the most part. I'm still very critical of him at times, but if you win another ring for us, man, ain't gonna be nothing. You can, ain't nothing you can tell me about LeBron James ever again. Nothing. Nothing at all. And I want you to think about this question over uh, uh, overnight, too. Like I said, we got a lot more to talk about tomorrow. If the Lakers do win the championship this year, what does that mean for the best player in the world? That's a good question. Man. I'm gonna I'm, 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 I'm let, let you debate though, because we. I know you're not gonna give it to AD because how he's me. Depends but. on how it's done. How I say it depends on how it's, it depends on how we do it. Depends on how we do it. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna definitely have to sleep on that. Let that one marinate. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna let that one marinate after, after after the game tonight. I'll be able to say okay. Hopefully, I'll be able to say you know what. All right. I can see that happening. If it happens, it's going to be because X, Y, Z, and Y will be the best player in the world. Yeah. So we'll see, you, man. Like I said, man, Lakers Nuggets start tonight. Uh, Heat Celtics uh, start tomorrow. Honestly, bro, we might start the show a little bit more because I know eight thirty. That's we might our. Have to go a little early, man. I have to go a little early, man. I'll be ready a little earlier. Honestly, tomorrow draft lottery tonight too. Make sure I tune into that. It's the Victory Run Bayama sweepstakes. We're gonna hit on that uh, tomorrow as well. So make sure I tap in tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Uh, maybe a little early. So maybe eight o'clock. Maybe even earlier than that. Man, we're we gonna see what, what we got going on. Uh, but it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a packed show tomorrow for sure. For sure, a um, passion packed show tomorrow. I got a lot to talk about, man. Cannot wait for tomorrow's show. We we talked about what we are gonna talk about before we before we hopped on here, man. Honestly, I can't wait for tomorrow's yeah, show. It's gonna, it's gonna be a great show. Make sure I tap in for sure. So show, man. So man, it's been down to wire five one three. We ain't gonna hold y'all any longer because we know y'all getting ready for the draft lottery and. Lakers Nuggets tonight, so we ain't gonna keep y'all any longer, man. Yes, sir. Go what Blazers in the lottery. Let's go Blazers, man. Let's go Portland. I want Portland to get victory, man. Let's go. Let's go Blazers. Free Dane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, free Dane, right? So, man, for the good brother, man, Fly Man Ran, Josh Davis will be on with us tomorrow night. The Taron Blaine. This has been Down to the Wire 513 NBA Conference Finals Preview. We'll catch y'all tomorrow, man. Make sure I tap in on our social media so y'all know what time we will start the show tomorrow. So, until then, man. We'll catch y'all tomorrow, man. We out. Peace. Peace.